Hi friends. All right. This is my last story that is attached to Palm Sunday. This story, it does have some sad parts, but I want you to know the reason I'm sharing it with you is because it's one of Jesus's best miracles that you'll ever hear. Okay. So get ready. It's kind of like a roller coaster. Sometimes you have to go down and then up, 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 up. And then it's like, yay! And it's so exciting. So I want you to think about that. All right. So here we go. We are in the book of John. Okay. And this is chapter 11, verse 1. And this is a story about Lazarus. Now, what you need to know is that Jesus, not only did he have his followers, but Jesus had friends, right? You have friends, all your rainbow friends. I'm going to say all of your names. Ooh, here we go. Ainsley, Audrey, Ava, Aviella, Caden, Carter, Charlie, Connor. Hannah, Kira, Kenzie, Lucas, Riley, Skylar, and Zoe. All of you are my rainbow friends. Oh, and don't forget Miss Anne. Ooh. <laughs> You're all my friends, and they're all your friends. This story is about, so in, in this story, there's three, three people who live at the same house. Mary, not his mom, Mary, a different Mary. He had a friend named Mary. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Lazarus, sorry. There was three of them. I was saying Lazarus and three at the same time. Miss Andrea. Okay, so this is, this is where we're at. So Jesus has three friends, and they are brother and sisters. Got it? All right. It says, now a man named Lazarus was sick. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister, Martha. So the sisters sent word to Jesus. So they sent word, meaning that they sent it either in um, a people form. They, they, they asked somebody who knew where Jesus was to go tell him because could they call Jesus on the phone? No. Could they send him an email? No. Could they FaceTime or Zoom or Skype Jesus? No. So they had to send him a message and it said, Lord, the one you love is sick. Do you love your friends? Yeah. And so does Jesus. Yeah. So when Jesus heard this, Jesus said, this sickness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory so that God's son may be glorified through it. So that's what Jesus said. Jesus didn't say, oh, no, I'm going to go run and go find Lazarus. He didn't do that. OK, now we know who Jesus was and we know that Jesus was God's son. But that might have felt a little bit sad. So let's keep keep reading. Now, Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that Lazarus was sick, he stayed where he was for two more days. He didn't go run. He didn't go chase them down. And then he said to his disciples, let us go back to Judea. But Rabbi, they said, a short while ago, the Jews there tried to stone you. And yet you were going back. So remember, as many as there was people that loved Jesus and were following around, there were still mean ones around. Remember, I said this is kind of like a roller coaster. There are a little bumps and kind of mean things. There were people that didn't like Jesus and didn't believe him. And they, you know, so his friends, his disciples are saying, are you really going to go back there, Jesus? And he says, are they not 12 or are there not 12 hours of daylight? Anyone who walks in the daytime will not stumble. For they see by this world's light. It is when a person walks at night that they stumble, for they have no light. So Jesus is saying, yeah, you can walk during the day, but sometimes you walk at night and you're going to trip over a couple of things. He's basically trying to say, it's going to be all right. So after he had said this, he went on to tell them, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going there to wake him up. Okay. His disciples replied, Lord, 
If he sleeps, he will get better. Jesus had been speaking of his death, but his disciples thought he meant like really going to sleep. So Jesus knows that Lazarus was sick. Jesus knows that Lazarus might die. But Jesus also knows, show me your muscles, that he is strong and that he has God's power. So again, keep reading, keep listening. So then they told him plainly, Lazarus is dead. And for your sake, I am glad I was not there so that you may believe. But let us go to them. So then Thomas, also known as Didymus, said to the rest of the disciples, Let us also go, that we may die with him. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. <sighs> That's so sad, isn't it? Four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and to Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she sent out to meet him, but Mary stayed in the house. Lord, Martha said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died, but I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said, your brother will rise again. Martha said, I know he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So Martha is still having a strong faith. She's saying, I know, Jesus, I know. But if you had just come, I know. I believe in your power, Jesus. I know, I know. You could have saved him, Jesus. And then Jesus is saying, but no, no. Trust me, trust me, Martha. Okay, so keep reading. We're getting up to the top. We're about to go, woo! Keep listening. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Yes, Lord, she replied. I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. So she believes what Jesus just said. After she said this, she went back and called her sister Mary aside. The teacher is here, she said, and is asking for you. When Mary heard this, she got up quickly and went to him. Now, Jesus had not yet entered the village, but was still at the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who had been with Mary in the house, comforting her, noticed how quickly she got up and went out, they followed her, supposing she was going to the tomb to mourn there. When Mary reached the place where Jesus was and saw him, she fell at his feet and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. So she said the same thing. Why didn't you come, Jesus? We needed you. But when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come along with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and said, where have you laid him? So that means when Jesus saw Mary crying, and then she saw the people who came to visit Lazarus crying. That made him, that even though Jesus is so strong and he has straight great power, this this hurt Jesus in his in his heart because that was his friend too. And he said, come and see, Lord, they replied. And here, verse 35, Jesus wept. That means Jesus cried too. Again, we're getting there. Don't worry. Don't worry. Keep, keep listening. Then the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of a blind man had kept this man from dying? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, Martha said, the sister of, of Lazarus, by this time there is a bad odor, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, did I not tell you that if you believe, 
you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, to, he's talking to God, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of the people standing here, that they may believe that you have sent me. So this is what Jesus is saying to God, like, please. And so when he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. And the dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped in the linen and cloth around his face, kind of like a mummy. That's what they did a long time ago. And Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Lazarus came out. Jesus rose him. Jesus brought him back to life. That was his friend. And he saw their crying and he felt it in his heart. So this is the yay, Jesus. He did it. Can you believe it? That's amazing. So a week right before Jesus was coming to, to visit his family for Passover, this is what Jesus did a week before that. For his friends, Martha and Mary and Lazarus, he did it for them. He did. 